In this Blender Beginners tutorial I will show you how to create and animate a coil that follows a spiral path. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Remove this banner by hitting return on your keyboard. Now we won't need this cube so you need to remove this so just press X on your keyboard and then left click on delete. Hold down shift followed by A next to mesh left click on plane and press 7 on your numbers pad to go into top view now I'm going to use this plane to make the spiral um, it's just an easy way of doing it um, there are other ways but this is a simple way so if you roll your middle mouse just to zoom in a bit and then press tab on your keyboard to go into um, edit mode then deselect everything by holding down Alt A. Now I want to remove three of the corners. And the easiest way to do that is if you just press C for circular select, you can increase the size by rolling your mouse if you want. And then hold down your left mouse button and just drag it over these three points here. Then right click and then remove them by pressing X on your keyboard and then left clicking on vertices. Press tab on your keyboard to go back into object mode and then one on your numbers pad to go into front view. Now if you look at these buttons along here you'll see one that looks like a wrench this says context modifiers left click on this left click on add modifier what you're looking for is the tab that says screw left click on this in the box it says screw what, um, zero it's a little arrow to the right left click on this so you get 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 and in the iterations box again on the right left click on the little arrow and I'm going to take this up to 10 can roll your middle mouse to zoom out if you want. Now in the steps it says 16. You can leave it at 16 if you want but I'm going to take it up um, to something like, I don't know, I'm going to left click here and type in 32. And render steps, this is what it would look like after you render um, the animation. So. I'm again going to left click here and type in 32 just make the coil look smoother okay I'm going to recenter this by holding down shift to my middle mouse button and just dragging this view down a bit and I think I'll zoom in by rolling my middle mouse okay that gives me a reasonable view with this spiral selected still left click on object and then look for something that says convert to and you need to left click on curve from mesh surf from mesh text curve from mesh text now hold down shift followed by a and this time next to curve left click on circle press R followed by X and then 90 to rotate the circle on its X axis 90 degrees once you've done that left click to the left of the screen there's a move button left click on this place your pointer on the red arrow hold your left mouse button down and move this circle to the right now we're going to change the size of this circle and to stop it moving towards the middle as we reduce the size underneath rendering there's a little chain link this says pivot point left click on this and then left click on active element okay select the coil and again down here you'll see a curve and this says context object data left click on this then open up the geometry box you may have to slide this down this slider down a bit 
and then in the bevel section if it's not open just left click on the little arrow you need to select the box that says object by left clicking on it and then left click Bezier circle and this will happen now we can change the size so if you just left click on the Bezier circle or the circle that you brought into Blender and then just press S move your mouse until you get a spiral that you're reasonably happy with and then left click now left click on the what was your coil and you've got a few options here the first thing you'll see something that says fill caps so left click on this this will fill the ends. Now to animate this make sure you're at the beginning if you're not sure just left click on this jump to end so that you're at frame one you can check it here as well and the first thing we're going to change is where it says bevel start 0, 0.000 hold your left mouse button down and drag it to 1 and then drag the end in the direction you want it to go in so I'm going to start from the bottom so literally I'm going to leave this as 1 now if you right click you can left click on insert keyframe now I'm not going to change anything on this animation at all so I'm going to let it run for 250 frames so if you come to the jump to end points button here this will take you to the end and then drag this back to zero and then right click and then left click on insert keyframe come back to the beginning and then just left click on play and this will gradually start extruding along the spiral path so I'm just going to go to the end again and I'm going to right click on the actual coil and then I'm going to left click shade smooth now you can start setting this scene up if you want to animate it so the first thing I'm going to do is press Z so I Z on my keyboard and then left click on look dev if you come over to the right hand side again you'll see a little world that says materials, context materials, left click on this left click on new and where the box it says principled BF assuming you want to change it and make it look shiny um, left click on principled BSDF then left click on glossy BSDF and this will give you this kind of effect now you can change how shiny this coil looks by adjusting the roughness so if you hold your left mouse button down you can take it right up to really like a mirror finish or you can go for a more I don't know less shiny surface I'm going to take it right down so it reflects the the environment that you get in um, look dev the only other thing you can do underneath scene you have a little button that says shading if you left click on this and then left click on the globe you've got a few options so if you went for the studio light you'd end up with something that looks like this so that's something you need to decide what you want to do um, and just to make it very quick very very quick animation if you press um, zero on your numbers pad roll your middle mouse so that the camera view is at a reasonable size then hit N and what you're looking for is something called this is in view something called lock camera to view left click on this and then hit N to remove this box 
you can roll your middle mouse and increase or decrease the size and then if you hold down shift in your middle mouse you can actually reposition and also control middle mouse and moving your mouse gives you a, a smoother sort of zoom in and out so let's go for this so that's I think we'll animate this one um, the only other thing you can do now little button here it says show overlays left click on this and make sure that this isn't showing here so the easiest way to do that is just left click on the select box and that will get rid of that check everything's working go back to the beginning press play yeah happy with that that will do so let's animate this over to the right again there's a little tab that looks like a printer this says context output left click on this leave everything as it is the only thing I I'll change the frame rate, it's a bit of an odd frame rate, 24 frames per second, so I'm going to left click on this and then left click 25 frames a second, so this will give me 10 seconds. Now for animation or any video work you need to select your output, so I don't know, if you in the output box next to TMP there's a little folder, left click on this and select where you're going to save your video or your animation. I'm going to place it on desktop because it makes life easy and I'm going to give it a very simple description. You can call it what you want. I'm going to just call this a spring. Left click on accept twice and the other thing file format PNG if I was to render this now I would end up with 250 images so left click on PNG and just left click on FFmpeg I'm not going to change anything otherwise this would just make this tutorial very long um, and the only other thing you can do because we're going to render this viewpoint come up to view left click on view and then look for something that says viewpoint render animation left click on this and you should see a number over your mouse so when it gets to 250 you'll know it's finished I'll come back to this when it's finished once your animation has finished you can close this box down and then hopefully you should have something that looks a bit like this Hopefully this helps somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.